Welcome to Physics 160, your biomechanics course. I'm Dr. Julie Alexander. I'll be your instructor. I have been an instructor at Camosun College for over 30 years, but I usually teach the second year engineering students. This is one of my favorite courses to teach though, because I have been an athlete all of my life. I started as a gymnast as a teenager and then was briefly on the national volleyball team when I was in university. And now I'm a competitive master's rower. In this course, you'll be learning about the mechanics of the human body. The most important topic will be forces within the body as well as external forces to the body. I was once in an exercise class with an athletic therapist who happened to also be a rower. And she was trying to explain why a particular core exercise was more difficult because we had moved the position of our arms. And when I listened to her, I realized she was just absolutely wrong. She used wrong terminology for things like levers and forces and torques. She had it just all the physics completely wrong. So my goal for this course for you guys is to make you sound really smart. So when you go and you work with your clients and you are giving them exercises or you're doing rehab with them, you need to know about all the forces and the torques and lever arms and why it is that the things you're doing are going to help them. So for example, everybody knows that when you do a split lunge, uh, you're not supposed to put your knee past your toe going forward. So why is that? What are the forces? What are the torques? Why is it that everyone tells you not to do that? Also, you may know that the quadricep extension machine is not a great machine for your knees. And if you're just trying to strengthen quads, doing something like a squat is much better. Well, why is that? And we will be doing calculations like that. We'll be calculating forces in tendons and ligaments, and we will be doing contact forces, bone on bone and things like that. So the layout of the course is everything is on D2L. Nothing is synchronous other than the lab period on Mondays from 12.30 to 2.30. So I have set up a bunch of checklists on D2L for each week and you will simply go through the checklist and do what it says. I have made videos uh, that you will look at and then assignments that you will do. Now, it's been a really difficult course to get online because I rely heavily on lectures in this course because there just aren't any really good textbooks for biomechanics. I've looked through dozens of textbooks and they either are too descriptive or they get too complex or they just get the physics plane wrong and it's really frustrating. So I've had to search around between different books uh, to get problem assignments for you and I really tried hard not to make this just a physics course. It's really going to be about the human body. So all the examples will be related to the human body. You will have assignments uh, weekly and they will be due every Friday. So you'll be coming into a lab with Connie on Friday mornings. And Connie's been really nice to allow me to put a box outside the lab to collect your assignments. Now in the physics department, we do not have the safe start um, authority to interact with any students. So I'm not allowed to hang out with you or I'm really, I guess not supposed to even talk to you, but what I'll do is I'll put the box out. Um, so the people that come at 8.30 can drop their assignments in it. I'll come by at about 9.30. I'll pick up those assignments. I'll go off to a room close by, I'll mark them and I'll try to get them back in the box by the time you finish your lab at 10.30 and then repeat the whole thing again for the people that come at 10.30. Uh, so the labs will occur on Mondays, 12.30 to 2.30. I haven't quite figured them out yet because once again, it would normally be a time where you really, you know, I'm always there and I'm helping with the computer software. So I'll let you know more about the labs when we meet next Monday. Uh, the course outline is on D2L, so make sure you have a look at it. Your grade will be made up of 10% for your labs, 30% for the assignments, so they're really important. Uh, you will have three term tests, 30% for those, and then there will be a final exam, 30%. Okay, I think that's all for now, and I'll talk to you on Monday during On Collaborate at 12.30.